Hello everyone, my name is Andrea Badwa and we are going to talk about today the non-digital or conventional technology tools for teaching and learning. Did you know teaching becomes rewarding when learners get the most from instructional as manifested in their performance. An important element in engaging learning is when the strategy used in delivering the lesson uses an instructional materials. When properly and appropriately used, it can spice up a classroom activities. These instructional materials come from a varied forms or ways. One group refers to the conventional and non-digital tools. A classroom will always need a chalkboard or a writing board that may come in a form and different shapes. As you can see in this picture, these are the difference between the non-digital tools and digital tools. But for today, we are going to focus in the non-digital tools. So first, what is non-digital? Well, it is not related to or not using a computer or the internet or other digital technology like devices, cell phones, computers, and more. How about the non-digital or conventional technology tools for teaching and learning? Well, it is refers to the teaching using a chalkboard and a pen and paper, a chalk and board for teachers, and a pen and paper for the students in a classroom. Also, this is the use of instructional materials used by the teachers in the non-digital teaching to enhance his and her teaching, promote meaningful communications and effective learning for the students. An example of this are writing board, diorama, nature table, flip chart, zigzag board, board display, wall display, and rope, pole display board. And we are going to talk about each of these examples later. So let's begin on the first examples of an instructional materials. First is the writing board. A writing board can display information written with a chalk, chalkboard or blackboard or even a special pens with a whiteboard. Although there are usually more effective methods of transmitting information, the writing board is still the most commonly used visual aids, especially in a common classroom. The next example is the diorama. Did you know that it will make the classroom to be creative and innovative? It is a fun way to build an exciting scene in a small space. Dioramas are small scenes created of layers of materials, all depicting a similar concept or theme. They usually display a historical time period, a nature scene, or a fictional situation. Kids are enjoying it. So let's move on to the next example. The next example is the nature table. It is a table that contains objects or scenes related to the current season or upcoming festivals or a symbol of an ecosystem. Children love to follow the natural changes that the world offers each month and classroom decoration reflect this. Of course, for example, is when a Christmas is coming, all our tables are full of Christmas scene. A Santa Claus, a Christmas tree, a Christmas light, and more. So okay, 
let's move on to the next example. The flip chart. It is a large tablet or pad of paper, usually on a tripod or a stand. It is a multi board series of three or four rectangular boards. These are specially used when the children is going to read or you will go into teach reading or identifying a picture or photos. This is a great instructional material for that example scene of teaching. So let's move on to the next example. The zigzag board. It is a multi board series of three or four rectangular boards. They are joined together along the sides of hangs so that they can be easily folded up and carried each. Each board can be of a different types. For example, a whiteboard, a chalkboard, a flannel board, and so on. On, on size of the board for the zigzag multi board depends on what you want to use them for. Here is the example of a zigzag board. After that, we have a wall display. Displaying item on a classroom wall is a well-known, tried and tested educational methods. A wall display is a collection of many different types of items and materials put on a wall to make an interesting and informative display. In a classroom, this, the display can consist of the student's own work. In development work, it can be used to convey information to the community. As you can see, if you go in a regular classroom of uh, children, you can see many pictures posted on the wall because this will or can attract the students that the classroom is very informative and their in the interest of the student to learn is going to boost so let's move on to the next example this is the last example but not the least this is the rope and pole display board this board consists of two parallel horizontal poles tied loosely together with a rope. Visual aids such as poster can be pinned to the rope. This kind of display board is invaluable where there are few solid walls for displaying information. It has no solid backing and can be made quickly for teaching, training, and when working with community. So, these are the examples of instructional materials for the non-digital tools. So, as a future educator, how can we apply and at the same time integrate the use of non-digital and digital skills and tools in delivering technology enhanced lesson how can we enhance learning using these digital and non-digital tools well it is our obligation to teach students and transform them with their true potentials all we have to do in implementing the use of these tools is to facilitate if it is really helpful or appropriate to use in a certain topic. We must become a digital literate teachers for us to be connected with our own students. We must be on trend, not only to be part of the group, but at the same time to assure that we can impart knowledge to the students 
in a meaningful way. Of course, we cannot just look forward and forget our non-digital tools in learning, for it is still beneficial as a part of strategy in learning. Some innovations to improve those things are needed sometimes for us to teach better, whether by the use of digital and non-digital tools. So, this is the end of my reporting and I thank you for learning with me.